Picture this. You're about to log into a website, but instead of clicking Sign in with Google, you're clicking Sign in with ChatGPT. Sounds futuristic? It's happening right now. OpenAI is literally trying to become the new identity layer of the internet, and that's just the beginning of what dropped this week. Meanwhile, MIT just built an AI that beat GPT-5 by 114%. Yes, you heard that right. And Google created an AI that can spot cancer cells invisible to human doctors. But here's what really caught my attention. There's an automation platform that nobody's talking about that just crossed 120,000 users by doing one thing, Zapier won't, offering lifetime deals. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. In this video, I'm covering the five game-changing AI updates that will actually impact how you work tomorrow. From OpenAI's audacious plan to own your online identity, to a Windows update that turns your PC into a mind-reading assistant. Stick around because some of these developments are absolutely wild. Let's dive in. OpenAI's master plan, become the internet's new login button. Imagine if ChatGPT wasn't just a chatbot, but your universal key to the entire internet. That's exactly what OpenAI is building with sign in with ChatGPT, and the implications are bigger than you might realize. Here's what's actually happening. OpenAI is pitching this feature to businesses right now, positioning ChatGPT as a trusted authentication platform that goes way beyond just logging you in. This isn't just about convenience. It's about OpenAI potentially managing your data, your app permissions, and connecting every web experience to their AI ecosystem. Think about what this really means. Every time you log into a service with ChatGPT, OpenAI learns more about your digital life your shopping habits, your work tools, your entertainment preferences, all flowing through their authentication layer. It's brilliant and slightly terrifying at the same time. But here's the strategic genius. Once ChatGPT becomes your login method, every website essentially becomes ChatGPT enabled. Imagine logging into your project management tool and having ChatGPT already understand your tasks, deadlines, and team dynamics or shopping on Amazon with ChatGPT knowing your purchase history across every platform. The personalization possibilities are endless. What OpenAI is really doing is trying to become the connective tissue of the AI web. Google and Facebook dominated the last era by owning identity. OpenAI wants to own the next one. And if businesses bite, which they likely will given ChatGPT's user base, we're looking at a fundamental shift in how the internet works. The question isn't whether this will succeed. It's whether we're comfortable with one AI company having this much visibility into our digital lives. But let's be honest, we already gave that power to Google and Facebook. At least this time, we might get an AI assistant that actually understands us in return. AI Automation Platform AutoKit emerges as serious Zapier competitor. In AI automation news this week, there's a platform making waves in the workflow automation space that's worth paying attention to. AutoKit, formerly known as SureTriggers, has just surpassed 120,000 active users and is positioning itself as a genuine competitor to established players like Zapier and Make.com. What's driving this momentum? Three things are standing out. Their integration library has expanded to over 1,200 apps. Their pricing is significantly more competitive than the market leaders. And here's the kicker. They're offering lifetime access plans. You pay once, and you get access to their growing automation platform permanently. That's a pricing model we're not seeing from Zapier or Make, and it's clearly resonating with users who are tired of escalating monthly subscription costs. Let's talk about what this actually looks like in practice because the real test of any automation platform is whether it solves problems for actual businesses. Take this boutique fitness studio that connected their booking software, email newsletters, and billing system through AutoKit. They automated their entire class signup and payment reminder workflow. No more manually updating three different systems every time someone books a yoga class. That's time saved and errors eliminated. Or consider this local food delivery service that needed to connect ordering apps with Google Maps and SMS notifications. AutoKit automated their entire delivery update process. 
What previously required someone manually sending status updates is now completely hands-off. And here's what validates this platform beyond just user numbers. They're maintaining a 4.9 out of 5 satisfaction rating while scaling, and they're reporting 99.9% .9 uptime. Those are enterprise-level reliability metrics. For small businesses, this matters because automation is no longer optional if you want to compete effectively. When you're spending hours on repetitive tasks, updating spreadsheets, sending follow-up emails, syncing data between platforms, you're not growing your business. You're just maintaining it. The competitive landscape in AI automation is heating up, and platforms that can deliver both functionality and affordability are gaining ground fast. Whether Autokit can sustain this growth trajectory against incumbents like Zapier remains to be seen, but the early indicators suggest they're tapping into real demand. If you want to explore what Autokit offers, we've got a link in the description. They're currently running that lifetime membership option, which is worth checking out if you're considering automation tools for your business. Anthropics Haiku 4.5, the budget AI that punches above its weight. Now, Let's talk about something that just shifted the entire AI pricing game. Anthropic unveiled Claude Haiku 4.5, and while the name sounds like poetry, the impact is pure business strategy. Here's what makes this fascinating. Haiku 4.5 is matching the performance of GPT-5 and Gemini 2.5 on key benchmarks, but at a fraction of the cost and latency. We're talking about an AI model that delivers enterprise-grade results without the enterprise-grade price tag. For startups and small businesses that couldn't justify the cost of premium AI models, this changes everything. But the real innovation isn't just the price, it's the speed. Haiku 4.5 is optimized for real-time responsiveness. When you're building a customer service chatbot or a multi-agent system, every millisecond matters. Users don't care that there's an AI processing their request. They just want instant answers. Haiku delivers that without compromising accuracy. Think about what this means for AI adoption. The biggest barrier for most businesses isn't the technology, it's the economics. When every API call costs money, you think twice about implementing AI features. But when the cost drops dramatically while maintaining quality, suddenly, AI-powered features become standard, not premium. Anthropic is essentially commoditizing AI intelligence, making it accessible to developers who were previously priced out. And here's the strategic brilliance. Once developers build on Haiku 4.5, they're in Anthropic's ecosystem. When they need more power, they upgrade to Sonnet. When they need maximum capability, they go to Opus. It's the classic freemium model, but for AI. The timing couldn't be better. As businesses increasingly need AI for competitive advantage, having a cost-effective option that doesn't sacrifice quality is game-changing. Anthropic just made AI democratization more than a buzzword. They made it economically viable. Google VO 3.1. Hollywood-grade AI video just got audio. If you thought AI video was impressive before, Google just added the missing piece that changes everything, synchronized audio. Their new Flow platform, powered by VO 3.1, isn't just generating videos anymore. It's creating complete audio-visual experiences. Here's what's revolutionary about this update. The Ingredients to Video and Frames to Video features now include audio generation. You upload a few images of your product, describe the vibe you want, and Flow creates a cinematic commercial with perfectly synced sound effects and ambient audio. No separate audio editing, no timing adjustments, it just works. But Google went further. They added precision editing capabilities that rival professional software. You can seamlessly insert or erase objects from scenes, extend videos beyond one minute, and create smooth transitions between completely different shots. This isn't just AI video generation, it's AI video production. The implications for content creators are massive. A YouTuber can now generate B-roll footage with matching audio in minutes. A small business can create professional commercials without hiring a production team. 
An educator can produce engaging visual content with atmospheric sound that keeps students engaged. What's brilliant about Google's approach is they're not trying to replace human creativity. They're augmenting it. The platform gives you Hollywood-level control while handling the technical heavy lifting. You focus on the story. VO handles the execution. And here's the kicker. This is directly integrated into Google's ecosystem. Your drive files, your photos, your workspace, everything connects. While competitors like Runway and Pika require you to switch platforms, Google keeps you in their universe. It's the same strategy that made Gmail dominant, now applied to video creation. The race for AI video supremacy just got serious, and Google's combination of quality, integration, and now audio capabilities puts them in a commanding position. The line between AI-generated and human-produced content isn't just blurring, it's disappearing entirely. Windows Copilot, your PC now reads your mind, almost. Microsoft just turned Windows 11 into something that feels like science fiction, and I'm not exaggerating. The new Copilot updates aren't just incremental improvements, they're transforming your PC into an AI entity that watches, listens, and acts on your behalf. Let's start with Copilot actions. You tell your computer, hey Copilot, book me a table at that Italian place for tomorrow night, and it actually does it. Not just searches for restaurants, actually makes the reservation. Or, order my usual groceries, done. This isn't voice control, it's voice delegation. Your PC becomes your personal assistant who actually assists. But here's where it gets wild. Copilot vision. This feature reads and interprets everything on your screen in real time. Working on a complex spreadsheet, Copilot understands the data and can explain trends. Reading a technical document, it can summarize key points instantly. Browsing shopping sites, it can compare prices across tabs without you asking. The privacy implications are obvious, and Microsoft knows it. They're implementing strict controls about what Copilot can see and when. But for users who opt in, this is productivity on steroids. Imagine never having to manually copy information between documents never missing important details in long emails, never struggling to understand complex data visualizations. What Microsoft understands that others don't is that the future of computing isn't about faster processors or better graphics. It's about reducing cognitive load. Every decision you don't have to make, every task you don't have to manage, every detail you don't have to remember, that's mental energy you can spend on what actually matters. And unlike standalone AI assistants, this is baked into your operating system. No subscription, no separate app, no context switching. It's just there, always available, always watching, if you let it, always ready to help. This is Microsoft's bet on the future, the OS as an intelligent layer between you and your digital life. The global rollout is happening now, and early testers are reporting time savings that sound impossible hours per day reclaimed from mundane tasks. Windows 11 isn't just an operating system anymore. It's an AI-powered ecosystem that actively works to make your life easier. Beyond headlines, the stories that will shape tomorrow's AI landscape, Apple's Siri brain drain continues. In a devastating blow to Apple's AI ambitions, Kay Yang, the executive just promoted to lead Siri's AI transformation, has jumped ship to Meta after mere weeks in the role. This isn't just another Silicon Valley job hop. It's a symptom of a deeper crisis at Apple. Here's what makes this significant. Yang was supposed to be the architect of Siri's generative AI revolution. Apple desperately needs to catch up to ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. And they just lost the person tasked with making it happen. The timing couldn't be worse. Apple intelligence is rolling out, and they're hemorrhaging the talent needed to make it competitive. The pattern is becoming embarrassing. Apple, once the destination for top talent, is watching its AI leaders walk out the door to competitors. The question isn't just why Yang left, it's why Apple can't retain the people they need to compete in the AI race. Internal sources suggest it's a combination of bureaucracy, slow decision-making, and a culture that prioritizes perfection over innovation speed.
For users, this means series transformation might be even further away than we thought. While competitors sprint ahead with weekly updates, Apple is stuck rebuilding their AI team. Again, AI discovers invisible cancer, suggests novel treatment. Google and Yale just achieved something that sounds like science fiction, an AI model that can detect cancer cells that human specialists literally cannot see. The C2S scale model, with its 27 billion parameters, isn't just finding cancer. It's finding cold tumors that hide from the immune system. But here's the jaw-dropping part. The AI didn't just detect these invisible tumors. It suggested a specific treatment combination, silmidacertib with low-dose interferon, to make them visible to the immune system. Lab tests confirmed the AI's prediction worked. Think about that. An AI discovered a cancer treatment approach that human researchers hadn't considered. This isn't incremental progress. It's a paradigm shift in oncology. We're talking about an AI that sees patterns in cellular data that the human eye cannot detect, then recommends treatments based on those patterns. The implications for cancer treatment are staggering. Earlier detection, personalized therapies, and treatment options we haven't even imagined yet. The model is built on Google's Gemma architecture, proving that foundational AI models can be adapted for highly specialized medical applications. This is the future of medicine. AI partners that enhance human capability in ways we're just beginning to understand. MIT's recursive model leaves GPT-5 in the dust. MIT researchers just broke the scalability problem that's been plaguing large language models, and their solution is elegantly simple. Let A, I call itself. Their new recursive language models, RLMs, achieve something remarkable. A prototype, RLM-powered GPT-5 mini outperformed standard GPT-5 by 114% on long-context benchmarks. Here's why this matters. Current AI models struggle with long documents because they try to process everything at once. RLMS work differently. They recursively call themselves to process information in chunks, similar to how humans break down complex problems. It's not just more efficient. It's fundamentally more capable. The performance gains are staggering. Tasks that would cause standard models to hallucinate or lose context are handled with ease by RLMS. Research papers, legal documents, entire code bases, RLMs maintain coherence and accuracy where traditional models fail. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a new architecture that could define the next generation of AI. While everyone else is throwing more compute at the problem, MIT found a way to make AI smarter, not just bigger. The recursive approach might be the key to achieving true reasoning capabilities in AI systems. These aren't just isolated updates. They're puzzle pieces of a much bigger picture. OpenAI wants to own your digital identity. Microsoft is making your PC psychic. Google is creating Hollywood studios in the cloud. And underneath it all, Breakthrough Research is pushing AI capabilities beyond what we thought possible just months ago. The pattern is clear. AI is moving from tool to partner, from assistant to collaborator, from option to necessity. The companies and individuals who adapt to this shift won't just survive. They'll thrive in ways we're only beginning to imagine. What's your take on these developments? Which update will impact your work the most? Are you concerned about OpenAI becoming the Internet's gatekeeper or excited about the possibilities? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one, and your insights often shape our next deep dive. If this helped you navigate the AI revolution, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're tracking these transformations every week, turning overwhelming tech news into actionable intelligence you can actually use. Next week, we're diving into something even bigger. The AI developments that could reshape entire industries overnight. You won't want to miss it. Until then, keep experimenting, keep adapting, and remember, in the age of AI, standing still is moving backward.